Good morning, my friends. This is Donna from Inspired to Create Facebook group, Shiny Treasure Designs Etsy shop, and Donna Davis Bell on YouTube. And I have a sewing book today. I've just finished. This was the first one that I've ever made. Um, this is episode three. Um, I did have to go back. I did have to go back and um, re-record it so the book is finished because I thought it was recording and then I couldn't find the video. So the book is finished, but I will explain everything as I go along. Um, you, episode one shows how I made the cover. Episode two has some of the things decorating the pages. And this is episode three, um, and I will explain everything as I go along. First thing I want to show is I have put seam binding and lace as the closure. It is a thick um, sewing book, needle and sewing book. So let's just get this all untied if I don't tie it into a knot here. What am I doing? What are you doing, Donna? What are you thinking? Okay, so we have seam binding and this beautiful lace for the tie, the closure. Okay. Beautiful laces on the cover, this beautiful satiny taffeta type fabric, this beautiful lace. This bridal lace and this bridal lace and these beautiful satin and pearl flowers on the cover. And then the, the binding has you know this beautiful flower here and here is the back. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Let's see, where is my tape measure? It is six inches long and five inches across and about two and a half inches high, almost three inches high. Okay, with the edge from the tip of the lace to the tip of the lace, it is nine inches. Um, from the tip of the lace this way across, it is about six inches. Okay. Now let's open it. And I'm going to put this pin in in a minute. I wanted to add that to it. Okay, so we have beautiful dangles coming down. The first page has this beautiful doily. Um, the tie, the closure is a tie, and I have it on both sides, and it is evenly spaced on both sides. Um, little pink satin flower, some pink satin flower here. We have for the first page is felt. Um, all the pages are felt, and the first page I have taken two little strips of felt and covered them in some lace and glued these little flowers on and attach those here and here to the page so that when you put your needles in the needles do not go all the way through to the next page and I put three different si uh, a variety of sizes of needles in there you have a large one you have this size this size and then some smaller ones um, so you have a variety of size needles there. I've added this beautiful bridal's lace here. And I love the way that come out. Over here I simply added a doily and a flower. And the inside is the same kind of taffeta satin fabric. It is The cover is lined with felt. Um, and I added this doily, added this lace and then some doily and this little flower. The next page, sorry, we still got glue strings. Um, the next page, I added another doily and it is pinned on so the recipient can take the doily off and use it. 
I added some safety pin, pins that she can use, and I also added some beads that she can use. Um, I add, made a pocket with dangles coming down. Let's see, let me raise that up so you can see. I meant to add a, a button here, and I'll go back and do that. I printed out a card and added some of this beautiful lace, and it is pinned on, so there's another pin to go into this pocket. A little foam heart there. And when you turn that page, there's a little bag here. I took a piece of bridal's lace, put it across, glued it, and added this flower, satin flower here. And you'll notice the edges are all tucked under lace, um, so there's no bare edges, no rough edges. And I've taken this little chiffon bag and added all kind of buttons and little um, some of my little diamond shaped rhinestones and there's just a variety of goodies in there from my embellishment box and button box. Just all kind of pieces in there and there's a variety of colors. There are some um, antique buttons and some newer buttons. Um, there's some more of those little rhinestone pieces. Um, there's some larger buttons all the way down to teeny tiny buttons. In there, this book is made to be used. Um, and she can also use this page for something else if she doesn't want to keep the buttons in there. So there is that page. In the center, um, I took some felt and I covered it with the same fabric that I used for the book. Added some beautiful lace and glued it to the center, which gives more support to the binding of the book. And I've put some um, stick pins in there. They are meant to be used. You can take them out and use them. I also took a safety pin down here. And I tied, took, this is a vintage spool. It is a wooden spool. So it is vintage. I took some thread that matched the book. And tied some lace around it and tied it into a bow. And pinned it on with a safety pin here. So it does have some thread. I took a large safety pin here, glued a flower, chiffon flower to it, and I gathered some lace onto it and pinned it onto the book so the lace can be taken off and used. It is a substantial amount. So there's that in this tool flower. Um, Marcia sent me in um, an embellishment box. Thank you, Marcia. It was perfect for this um, sewing book. So there's that. So she's got some lace. She's got buttons, pins, thread, more lace, more lace, and a, a safety pin, a large safety pin with a the flower there on that page. Glue strings. Here I've pinned a little um, charm on there. It says, Pardon my French. And I pinned all these little satin flowers on. She can use those, and she can put more flowers if she wants, um, or use the pages for something else once she's used those. This is a doily. Um, I've added some little teeny tiny clothes pins here for her to use. And here I've added a pocket with a pair of little sewing scissors that she can use. Just I simply just tied a bow on that and put it in there. And I wanted to add this in here. Like so, right there. And that's the back page. And there's the back cover. And this is what it looks like when it's closed. As you can see, it is full and it is thick. And it simply ties closed. Thank you. 
and I had so much fun making this. That's what it looks like from this side. There's the top. There's the bottom. And there's the front. The binding and the back. And as you can see, it's very beautiful. It looks delicate, but it is very sturdy um, and durable. So I hope whoever gets this enjoys it. I had so much fun making this. I am going to list this one in my Etsy shop and make another one. I enjoyed making this, so I am going to make some. And um, I'm going to make one for a swap. And I'm going to make... I am having a swap in my group, Inspired to Create, of Needle and Sewing Books. If you would like to join that, come on over to our group, join and sign up. Um, we do, I do have, host lots of swaps like this. Um, the only thing that is mandatory in the swap is um, I make sure that people, when they ship their item, they have to send me in private messenger in the group a picture of their shipping receipt, whether it be international or U.S., and the numbers, the tracking number on the U.S. ones has to be clearly visible. On the international ones, all the numbers, the to and the from, and the date has to be clearly visible in the pic. You may have to take one or two pics to get them all to me, but that is mandatory. That cuts down on if someone does not send or flakes or you know there's problems or whatever I don't have to go searching for the receipt it's right there and it cuts down on hurt feelings and all that kind of stuff it's just so much easier for me that way um, so if you want to sign up for a swap in my group come on over join us and sign up we have lots of fun over there um, thank you God bless and have a good day bye bye